Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IUIC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done. Do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. You got questions? I got ops. You got ops? What you mean by that? I mean, I mean, I got enemies. Okay, so how do you deal with that according I mean, to the Bible? I mean, white enemies. What you mean? You talking about white people? Yeah. Listen, let me show you what the Bible said. Okay. The Lord is going to avenge you with that. What's your question? No, but I got to go. statement would be is when I ask, who were they? Who, what you mean, who are they? Who are they? When uh, the brother was talking Our about oppressors? They, when he explained who were they. So basically, what he was saying and all the education that he gave us on that. So they would be Satan, basically. Okay. That's what you think it what is. It now, I mean, Satan. Satan right? now we're gonna it is a Satan, right? We're going to explain in the Bible who's oh, the day okay. he was talking about. Because oh, okay. he was talking about our oppressors, slanders. Because Satan ain't physically killing us. Right. Who, 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 killed, who shot Sire Macy in the face? Yeah. I'm asking you. Was it Satan who shot Sire Macy in the face? I don't even know who that is. You, uh, you don't know about what happened to Springfield? What he about Kendrick that. Johnson? Who killed him? Hey. Hey. He was Who explaining it to me. I didn't know. Mike Brown. But what about Mike Brown? Okay, Mike Brown. I live okay, in Ferguson. Somewhere. What about Mike Brown? Who shot him in the who shot him down on the ground? What did he look like? Was it the was it a man with a pitchfork? Who shot him? Do the Robin 28 verse 48. We gotta make it plain to the people. George Floyd. What about George Floyd? Who killed who murdered him? Bring it up. Okay, what he look like? And thank you. Yeah. So when he saying your oppressor, who is he talking about? Okay, he's saying the white man. Thank you. Right. See me, I look at them as Satan. That's it. That's what that, that's that's my Now we're gonna explain who's the oppressor okay. or that enemy. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So we have to serve our enemy. When did this start? The 1600s. When you look at the transatlantic slave trade, you can see the signs and images. Who put us into slavery? Huh? Who do we have to go to for, for, for provision? Black men don't control import and export. We don't control the food that come in and out of our community. Flint, Michigan. When we want water, who controlled the who controlled the water in Flint, Michigan? Bring it up. It was poison in the black community. Right. Was it Satan or was it the so-called white man? Bring it up. It was the. There you go. You're right though. You're 100 right. But finish reading it. Come on. And in the one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. That's the question. Who put yokes of iron upon a black and Hispanic's neck? Yeah. And slavery. Who did it? There you go. So what is God calling him? Our, our enemy. Our, our enemy. enemy. I think Satan is my enemy. That is Satan. Them right. children well, that's are right. Satan. Okay, so we're we saying the same thing. There you go. We're saying the same thing. Okay, all right. I just want to know. Until he have destroyed thee. Meaning, blacks are mentally destroyed. If I ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? Black, black is a color. What do you come from? What's your homeland? What customs do you keep besides Christmas? You celebrate 4th of July? No. Okay, I mean, you celebrate Christmas? No, nah, not really. Okay, what do you celebrate? Mother's Day? Father's Day? My birthday. <laughs> Right. Why did God tell you to celebrate birthdays? Bring it right. on! He don't. He so don't. why you celebrate birthdays? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You learned it from your oppressor. I'm just very That's happy to be here. <laughs> now let me show you some Revelations 2 and 9. Let's see who the enemy is, right? The Bible gonna make it plain. Let me take this one. Alright, cool. Read that. Revelations 2 and 9. The Bible gonna get plain. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Who's in poverty today? What race of people is in poverty? Black and Hispanic people. This is what is going over. Read. 
and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Blasphemy means lies, lies. Who on the earth today claim to be the Jews? Say it again. The white, do you understand that? God said, I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews, read, and are not. What is God saying about them? They're not who? They're not the Jews. Bring it up. That's why they call themselves Jewish. There's something like, meaning they practice the customs, right. but they're not the biblical Jews. Right. So who are the biblical Jews today? What do the Jews look like? Make it play, if they're know. not the Jews, who are the Jews? We the Jews. How you know that? <laughs> Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Bring it up. Let's see what the Jews look like according to the Bible. Come on, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Read it. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Come on. Yeah. To the money and the gates thereof language. They are black. What? They are black. Jew come from the word Judah. The Bible is depicting what they look like. He said they are what? Black. Black. We're looking at the Jews. But what happened? Revelation 2 and 9 again. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. You are the ones in poverty. But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. You see that? But are the synagogue of Satan. That's what you were saying earlier. They are the sons of Satan. That's their father. That's who they are. They are the synagogue of Satan. They changed their heritage when they put you in slavery. They, slavery. they said you Negroes, African Americans, but the Bible say they are the synagogue of Satan. Right? right? Come on, Revelation 3 and 9. Bring it up. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. Yeah. Behold, I will make them, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Who is the synagogue of Satan? When he said, I will make them, who is that talking about? The white man. You see that? Guess what the Lord said he's going to make them do? Read. Which say they are Jews and are not, Come on. but do lie. Come on. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. You see that? That's God's judgment. That's what you should be waiting on. God said, I will make them come to worship before thy feet. You understand that? Revelations 13 and 10, that's the prophecy. That's the good news. That's the gospel. God said he will make those who say they are Jews worship before your feet because you are God's chosen. He enslaved you. Read it. Revelations 13 and 10. Revelation chapter 13 verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Who put blacks into captivity? Who put Hispanic people into captivity? There you go. He that leadeth into captivity. Come on. Shall go into captivity. So what is their future? What does the Bible say? Are they going to get the kingdom of heaven? No. Are they getting the, what is that? What says is going to happen? They're going to They're going into slavery. Slavery. That's their future. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. You see that? Didn't they kill us with the sword? Didn't they kill us? God said they must be killed with the sword. That's what you must understand. Their future is death and destruction. Yours is the kingdom of heaven. But you must come back to this Bible. Read on. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You see that? God said it's the patience and the faith of the saints. What you don't know is you are the saints of God. Everybody's not a saint. Who are the saints? 48. We're going to show you who the saints are. Because we say the saints, when we look up the saints, you got the pictures of whites, Chinese, Arabs. Who are the saints? Read. The book of Psalms. 148, 148, 148. 148, 148. The book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. The horn of his people is this man right here, the black Messiah. The Lord said he also exalted the horn of his people. Come on. The praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel. So who are the saints based off what we just read? Who are God's saints? 
Is it the white man? Black. Is it Chinese? Read it again. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel. Who are all his saints? The children of who? There you go. So that's what we're showing you. You are the children of Israel. You lost your heritage in slavery. Will you read Deuteronomy 28 and 68 real quick? The Bible prophesied we will come to America for our punishment, for our judgment, for breaking God's commandments. How do we get to America? It's going to explain. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is another word for bondage or captivity. God said I will bring you back into captivity. What race of people went into slavery or captivity? That's you, black and Hispanics. Read with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get to America? Ships, ships. So the Bible talking about who? You. Read by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies. Who was sold on ships? Who jumped off ships and got put on auction blocks? That's you, man, right here. God said you will be sold to your enemies. Now look at us. We've been in America for over 400 years. And guess what? In those 400 years, guess what we lost? We lost our heritage. We lost who we are. We don't know our nationality. If I ask you, what does God tell us to do? The new moon, the Sabbath, Passover, Pentecost. You don't know these things no more. But you know about Christmas, though, don't you? You celebrate Christmas? Huh? You celebrate, you celebrate Christmas. What you doing? You give gifts? You do? On Christmas. Give me that in the Bible. Jeremiah 10. What's your question? So you guys are saying that we, so we being punished for basically our ancestors and everything. We being punished for what we did not do as far as following God's commands. Let's so read it. Let me, let, let's read it. Because I'm, I might have made it up. Let's see what the Bible, Deuteronomy 28, real quick. Make it up. So you, all right, Deuteronomy 28, 15, here we go. He's going to explain the reason why blacks went into ships on, in slavery. He's going to explain. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, come on. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see that? So you understand why we want to... So if we went in to slavery for breaking God's commandments. Only way to get out of this to obey his commandments. Thank you. Revelations 14 and 2. 14 and 12. This is how. This is the only way we can get delivered. You're 100 percent right. I got you. Read this. Come on. Revelations 14. Book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. You see that? So if we have faith in Jesus Christ, what we have to do? We got to keep God's what? Keep God's word. We got to keep his commandments. That's right. Are you willing? Are you ready to repent? Are you, will you repent today? Why, why, why not? See? Sir, you are I know. Honest because we hear, we hear the word of God, but guess what? The Lord told us, no matter how, how we speak to y'all, as smooth as we speak, as much as you understand, God said we're rebellious people when it comes to his laws. So we can't put a band-aid over your wound. We got to let you know why you're sick. Give me that. Corinthians 11 and 3. Come on. First Corinthians 11 and 3. We're going to show you a commandment of God. Come on. The book of First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is who? So is that today in America? Are women leading men today? No. Yes. No. So you know why we're in slavery? Because we let women rule us. Right. We're still in these conditions because we let women rule us. Right. Right. That's one problem right there. You married? No. You not? What about you? 28 years. 28 years? So you know who the head of the household is, right? It's supposed to be you, right? But I bet if your wife was here, 
Jesus say no, it's 50 50. Because America, America says that. That ain't what he said, though. Watch this. But I'm saying, you know the woman. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So when we praying or prophesying, you're not supposed to have your head wet. So what you supposed to do right now? Take your hat off. Take your hat off. Take or prophesy or what? Every man pray or prophesy. Or what? Prophesy. We in the midst of prophecy right now. So what you supposed to do? Take your hat off. Take your hat off. Yes, that's what the Bible says. Take your hat off. What about you? Take your hat off. That's all. Leave it off. We got to learn God's commandments. We got to learn not to be rebellious against God. You understand? I know you go to church, they tell you come as you want. But that's not biblical. You can't come as you want. Everybody got a dress code. Police officer, he got a dress code. The doctor got a dress code. When you go to school, you got a dress code. Now when it come to God, guess what? You got a dress code. The Lord said don't have your head covered. Respect him. That was it on that? Yes, sir. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Right. Now when you uncover your head, guess what? It's layers. We still got to repent. Let me say, Let me show you. Leviticus 19. See? Now you uncovered your head. Let me show you what else. Leviticus 19 and 27. Come on. Because there's one thing that black men practice in America. This is an ungodly custom that's forbidden. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27. Oh. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Uh-oh. Ye shall not do what? What does that mean? How do you round the corners of your head? Read. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shall thou mow the corners of thy beard. So what is this going into? How do we wear our what? Ah, okay. her. God said you're not supposed to round it. You know what he's talking about? talking about the ball head. The Michael Jordan. You ain't got, okay, if you ain't got none, it's different. So you don't take, no, that's good. I'm just letting you know. There's a lot of all oh, men. So you're saying if you do it on purpose. Purposely. Oh, okay. Exactly. Right? I mean, I love that. I'm saying, you, young man, you got the razor bolts under that? You know why you got them? Read it again. He shall not round the corners of your head. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. That's why. You're not supposed to shave off your beard. Right. That's why black men get raised. Ain't you tired of the razor bumps? Don't they get annoying? Don't you? And you gotta scratch all the time and pick. God said, don't shave your beard. Right. It's ungodly. 20, 20 and 5, 21 and 5. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You see that? Black men, men of God, you are the Israelites. You are the sons of God. Don't shave your beard. Don't bulge your head. You see all these men? We're examples. Look at our beard and our hurt. This is how we're supposed to live according to God. Ezekiel 5 and 1. Ezekiel 5 and 1. The Bible's going to tell you how to deal. When it comes to how we look, yes, God wants us to look a certain way. I know you go to the Christian church, they tell you come as you are. That's why the church is filled with homosexuality. Yes, right. they, get, they say black is the new gay. Black ain't the new gay. Black is never supposed to be gay. Read this. Ezekiel chapter 5 and verse 1. And now, son of man, take thee a sharp knife. Take thee a barber's razor. Because we have barbers. Take a barber razor and do what? And cause it to pass upon thine head. Come on. And upon thy beard. Right. Because we trim ourselves up. We look neat. You don't see us looking like bums. Right. But we supposed to not fall nor go into our beard. That's what the Bible is saying. Right. That is our dress code. Right. That's how we must conduct ourselves right. as the sons of God. Right? You understand that? So in order to get the kingdom of heaven, what we got to do? We got to repent of our sins. Now you say you're not married. Are you having sex? Be honest. Right? So what the Bible call it? 
So you're a fornicator. So if you're a fornicator, what does that mean? What is your fate as a fornicator? No. So basically, I'm not living right. So what you gotta do? I'm gonna show you. Corinthians I, 6 and 9. Gotta get it right. Watch this. I'm going to show you your fate if you remain a fortune. You didn't know. You understand? All of us, you see all these married? We all came out of these walks of life. Fornication, adultery. We came out of all of this. We used to shave our head and more of our beard. But we repented when we found out. That's what we're telling you. Because if not, you're going to die when the Lord returns. Right. You cannot remain in fornication. Right. Read. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You're not going to inherit the kingdom. Come on. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Come on. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners. You heard it said, nor drunkards. I know a lot of old black men, they deal with drunkenness because the light misery. A lot of old black men, we see them drink a lot. That's a problem. The Bible says you can't be a drunkard. No drunkards, come on. No think revelers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You see that? So if you keep fornicating, you're not going to inherit what? Many are going to die. We're making it plain. Ain't no salvation for you. There you go. First Corinthians 6 and 15. Neither can you say you love the Lord. Neither can you say you got God's Holy Spirit when you're dealing with whores and fornication. We're going to read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15. Because we see a lot of young men out here with the cross, with the Jesus peace. They think they believe in God, but live an ungodly lifestyle. One of them is whoredom. We're going to read it. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? You hear that, black man? So we're not supposed to deal with harlots according to the Bible. Right. The black men in this community, guess what? In our rap music, and our day-to-day -day lives, what we see on TV, guess what? They make it okay for us to deal with harlots. Right. But the Bible said, read it again. Because an honest woman will marry, she will get married. A woman that likes to live a promiscuous life, that's the whore or the harlot God is talking about. Right. That's what a lot of men deal with. Watch this, black man, the one right here. See, look, you got control yourself. I seen it. No. No, you got the devil on it. Listen, I seen it. It's spilling out. You can't control it. Well, you you know never learned thinking. God's discipline. Right. You know what I was thinking. Listen, you got to be disciplined when it comes to the Bible. Yeah, when it comes to God. Read it. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ. Come on. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? That's what you said. You said you deal with a harlot, right? A whore. Right? That's what you're dealing with? Watch this, read. God forbid. God said you're not supposed to deal with her. Read. What? Know you not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? You see that? When you join with a harlot, you become just like her. The Lord said you're not supposed to be joined. From, so from today, guess what you got to do? Leave the whore alone. Read. For two said he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. That's who you're supposed to be joined to. The Lord, that's what we're telling you men. Join to the Lord. Leave the whore alone. Set your house in order. Tell your wife. Take off the pants. Put on order. Right. That's what the woman waiting for. They wait for you to stand up and put them in order. They don't listen to you because they know you're weak. You cannot lead them. Yes, sir. Second Ezra, Second Ezra 14. The women waiting on the black man to stand up and put them in order. Watch this. This for you, my, my gentlemen. Because when you go home, there's problems in the household. We know it. We have fathers. You understand? We know what's going on in the black community. It's no respect. It's 50-50. Read. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now therefore, Set thine house in order. You see what you got to do when you go home? You ain't, and the pastor T.D. Jakes ain't never told you to set your house in order. Right. Right. Creflo Dell ain't never told you to set your house in order. Bring it up. Huh? Read. And rebuke 
Reprove thy people. And that's what the black man got to do. You got to reprove your people. You know why it's thugs and whores out here? Because the black man ain't got the spirit. That don't reprove your people. You don't, you listen to the same rap music. You dress like the young man. You don't show no, no respect for yourself. You don't show no value. But we teach you according to God right. how to live. Free. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. You see how people being shot down in the street? Kendrick Johnson, Sonia Macy, our people being murdered. God told us we supposed to do what? Comfort such of them as be in trouble. Why you think we are here today? We try to comfort our brothers who've been afflicted and in trouble. Right. That's your job. That's how you become a leader. Read. And now renounce corruption. Do what? Renounce corruption. Black ain't the new game. Right. Young black man, stop painting your fingernails. Right. Take off the weed. Right. Stop wearing what women wear. Right. Sisters, put on the dress. Right. The Bible said renounce corruption. Brother, stop parting your head. Stop shaving your beard. Put your house in order. We renounce corruption. Free. Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Come on. Put off now the weak nature. What? Put off now the weak nature. God said when you can't control your house, you're weak. You understand? That's the weak nature. You can't stop dealing with whores. You know why? Because you're mentally weak. You're still a boy inside. You have never been taught to grow up in America. Put off the weak nature. Be strong, be men. Read. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. What's most heavy unto us? Our thoughts. Why we have oppression? Why we keep getting shot down in the street? Why my wife don't respect me? I work sun up to sun down, I'm paying all the bills, but somehow she don't respect me. So this is why we teach you according to God's laws. Why we're in these conditions. Last scripture. Yes, sir. Proverbs 6 and 32. Proverbs 6 and 32. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 32. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. You read it again. But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. You see that, brother? He that committed adultery with a woman, he lacks what? You, right. So now this is the understanding we bringing you back to. Read. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. You see what happened when you deal with harlots? You destroy your own soul. You destroy your soul mentally. Not only mentally, spiritually, and physically. Why? Because you can catch STDs. You understand about how dealing with harlots? Yes, sir. Was that it? Come on. Hey, hey. That was it, 17. Real quick, Luke 17. The men of this generation are like children. Right, so brothers, when you read Matthew 16 and 9, right? Because believe it or not, matter of fact, uh, Psalms 82, ye are gods. Psalms 82, this is why we telling you this, young brothers right here, men, men. We want you to understand that you are God's chosen. You're the most valuable man on the face of the earth. You understand? Read this. The book of Psalm, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. What? Ye are God. That's why we tell you what we tell you today. Keep God's commandments and the faith of Christ. Because you are what? You are gods. You are gods. You understand? That's who you are. You're the god of the earth. That's right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.
Listen to 